This video from Sharp Out, we're taking a look at PLU programming on the XEA207 register. So a PLU is an individual product with a description and a price. PLU stands for Price or Product Lookup. Um, and I'll show you how you actually physically sell PLUs on the 207 at the end of this video once we've programmed a couple in. Just a bit of an explainer on the machine. These buttons here are departments, so they are categories of sale, but they can be programmed with a preset price and a description. So if you're looking to program what I would call hotkeys, so fast buttons for selling products, uh, and you're happy to use departments, providing you understand that if you've got a PLU, it has to belong to a department, so you've got to be a bit careful about what you do there, then check out my other video on department programming Well, I'll explain that. In this video we're looking at the PLUs that you give an individual um, code to and then sell via the PLU button. So I'll tell you how to program them. It's uh, mode 6 TLNS which takes you into the main PGM screen and then arrow down to setting and then the first option is article which is where the PLUs are stored. Press TLNS to enter there and then for line 2 PLU TLNS to enter and then that gives you a list of all the PLUs available to program um, so we'll start with PLU 1 it's highlighted so TLNS to enter you can now give it a preset price so we'll program ours with a pound keep it simple and we'll call it a banana an expensive banana so I like to delete the default description so highlight it and then press your delete key here and then you can now type in the description of the product. I've got other videos where I go into detail about how you program um, descriptions. Uh, I've just made a mistake there. So to get the P, we could pro I forgot I said I was programming with banana, but it's actually apple now it's turned into. Um, so it's an expensive apple. If you want to get two P's in a row, you press the auto menu button here and that togs the cursor along so you can now enter your second P. That's what I was doing by pressing this button over and over again, is just scrolling through the different letters available on that button. If we finish that, we've now got our description in. You've got an option for presets. Mine's gonna be a preset product. I'll program two and I'll do the other one as not preset and then show you how that works. Uh, and then a crucial bit uh, is department code. So this is where you assign your product to a department. As you see a stand on the machine, all the PLUs default to department code one. Um, the department codes are important for a couple of different reasons. The first is for your reporting. So uh, when you do an end of day report on a 207 register, it breaks the sales down by department. Um, so if you've got the PLU in the wrong department, your report information is always going to be skewed. Uh, second reason is tax. So again, the tills, if you've got tax on the till, the taxes are assigned to the department. So if you've got a PLU that doesn't have tax on it or does have tax on it and you've got it assigned to the wrong department, then your actual tax reports are going to be incorrect. It's crucial before you start programming to understand tax rates, departments and PLUs. Okay, so that's pro PLU1 programmed. We'll now do a banana. TLNS saves the PLU1 and then automatically jumps you on to uh, the second one. So this banana is going to have a price of 25p, but we're also going to set it to have a variable price. So caps and then the description. And if you highlight, um, I spelled banana wrong, but it's not a big deal for now, uh, for this video. If we've got that set to preset, if you highlight that and then press this button here, TMST, this gives you all the different options for the button, so you can inhibit it. Obviously, we don't want to inhibit it. You can have it set to preset, which is the default. You can have it set to open and preset, which is what I'm going to do, and then I can show you in the last part of the video how an open PLU would work. Um, so if we press TLNS, We've got those two saved as um, our PLU products. So you then press TLNS, which will jump you to the next one. You can repeat this procedure for all the PLUs you want to program for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to escape, 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 back to the main menu. So now we've got our two PLUs programmed in. 
um, to sell the first one you press the POU number so in this case number one and then the blue sub button here so we've got our Apple um, so that's that sold if you wanted to sell multiples of that particular POU you do five multiply or whatever the quantity is so we've got a five multiply there and then the PLU number followed by PLU sub. So it's it's a long-winded way of doing a PLU. Obviously, this machine has a raised keyboard with the department buttons on it rather than PLUs. So this is the only way you can have PLUs on the machine. If we now try and sell our banana product, so two, um, because it's got open and preset, it comes up with the 25p as default. So if you want to sell it at the 25p, you just press TLNS. Or if we go back into it, you should be able to change the price. That's it, you simply, I haven't used that for a long time, you simply type the price you're selling, if it's a variable price product, so it's something you're weighing, um, then you can just type the price in over the standard price and then press TLNS and then it'll sell it at your variable price. Okay, I hope that's cleared things up on the PLU programming. As I've said, there's I've uh, got plenty of a video showing you how to set up the departments, uh, the tax, which is worth, if you start in programming the machine for the first time, it'd be worth watching those just to make sure you probably get your head round um, how the registers work. So there'll be some videos appearing on screen now, which you're welcome to watch. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.